Hello, crafty friend Sparkle here. Say to, today I wanted to remind you all that coming up next week, November 1st, I will be participating in a collaboration with 30 plus other designers from around the world. And it's called the Greatest Gift Challenge. And it's with Rach and Bella Crafts. And it's titled The A to Z of Christmas and a Partridge in a Pear Tree. So I have put some signatures together with the paper from the kit. And I'm going to leave them as they are for now so that I can journal along. Each day, a different artist will be um, creating a page. And then those of us that want to can join along and um, follow them along. And I might put them in this book and then my challenge of I'm part of a partridge in a pear tree so I'm going to use this journal and do the 12 days of Christmas that's the planned anyway so here's some more of the delightful elements that I started cutting out there's more I ran out of paper can you believe it so I have to get some more paper but there's all kinds of tags larger tags and there's all sorts of bling which um, Next week, I'll be featuring a video I did with some of the smaller pieces here. So you'll see some pieces missing. So stay tuned for that. And they have words. Both I printed some of them big and some of them smaller. And numbers. So it's going to be um, a, a lovely project. And I can't wait to be sharing it with you. So every day, I'll try to post something about it. So what I wanted to show you was um, yesterday in my freebie files on Friday, you get I get freebies from Graphics Fairy, and I got this here, these little cones, these Christmas cones I call them, and you can get this free template from Graphics Fairy. So just go to their site, and they have all free elements, and you can download this. So I had made these three up with them. There's three different sizes. And um, they're cute. I just, um, I'm not going to be using this glitter anymore because it's all over the house and it's all over me. And I think I got a piece near my eye and it's bothering me. So I'm not going to use this anymore. I'm going to maybe fill them with um, something edible or even confetti or things that can come out. So we're not going to make this style today because I have my traditional style that I like to make. And these are more of a um, vintage flare. Okay. So I like these. I got these little dolls from, um, I think these were from Len Art Studio. I'll leave the link below. Or maybe it was from Optilux. Okay, it's one of two sides. And um, I have this fringe I put on. And, yeah, you can you can fill them with anything. And you can make them um, as decorative as you want. We're just going to keep these very simple. Uh, you can add words and stuff. But I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with them. So I'm going to keep mine plain. Let's put these out of here so I don't eat them. Okay. I just happen to have some candy from when my sissies were here. So the other style I did was um, actually, you know, they're they're stackables, and you can put these, um, you can punch holes in them, put little strings, and hang them on your tree, even if you don't fill them too much. But I like this. Um, these were done with um, the pattern from. This was the pattern from the fairy place. Graphics Fairy, but I printed it on uh, double-sided paper, and I tried to wrap them a little tighter. But this one leaves a little hole, so I just put these little, um, I put little pieces of um, tissue paper in there in case you wanted to put something in that might slide out. But, yeah, so this is a set of three. I'm just going to save these probably and just give these to somebody. So, again, we're going to use these. I have um, two printouts. Then I'm going to cut the frames out and just use the centers for my focal points. I'll 
I do need to find some cheesecloth. I'm sorry. I should have turned the camera off. I'm so sorry. Okay, so uh, they're very simple. This is the old way I used to make these. Let's um, let's cut our little images out here. Yeah, these are so cute. I'll clean these out later, and these are good frames. We were talking about them the other day. So let's just fussy cut this a little bit. Yeah, I found these images in my stash and I thought, well, let's just use them up. So to make these, you need one piece of eight and a half by 11 paper. And I print it back, I back it with a different paper because I like that look. Um, let's try to rough this up a little bit. I'm going to cut myself with these scissors. Yeah, so one line eight and a half by eleven, and I just use my tearing tool so it, the edges are a little rough around the edges, and I like that. But you could cut them with your paper cutter and make it all nice. So I just went through my stash and I found some um, vintagey paper. Some of it's free. Lots of times um, in the groups, uh, the ladies will offer something. And I just open them up and save it to a folder, and I just entitled it Freebies, so I don't really have um, a location where I, I got the items from. But yeah, if you have a theme or a party, these would be little good little takeaways. I was going to make these for my sisters last week, but... They got enough goodies, so. so I found this angel paper, and I just backed it on some plain brown paper, and I already took my white edges off, and I'm going to go five inches. It, this is approximately six, seven, eight, nine. It's ten inches, so I'm just going to go um, five inches in and tear it. And this will make two. So these are five by five. You can make them any size you want. Um, I think I want that little angel. So we'll cut here. Let's save that. And this one. Okay, so that's all the cutting we have to do. And we're going to use some double-sided tape. And all you're going to do is take the two sides. And just roll them. I was just bending the paper a little bit. So you just want to roll them so that the bottom's down here. I'm just teasing them. I'm not really folding them. So you just want to overlap them. Just a wee little bit. And these, these ends should match up here. So you have some steam going down here. So just lightly crease them. It almost looks like a flag, uh, a kite. 
Then I put some tape here. That's going to go there. So take off your tape. I use a little tool to go in there and just wrap. Okay. Now, if you don't like the point or something doesn't look good, you can just trim it off. We're going to leave it for now. Then I took a, a few of these... Um, three inch doilies that I had and I'm not coloring them but you could and I'm just there's two here oh, this one. so what I'm doing is I'm finding the point on the bottom here and I'm just gonna sort of Sort of wrap it around. So the back, the back will be solid. So, like, if you wanted to put a message or something here, you could do that. So the back is solid, and and the front piece is just um, just meet up there, okay? So once you get this creased a little bit. You could just crease it a little bit if you want. Make sure it fits in there. And then you're just going to um, lightly glue. I used my art glitter glue and just glue the edges here. You could wrap lace around there. There's so many different options you could have for how you want to handle it. So even though I'm pressing it down here, you can um, you can open that up later when it dries. When it dries, you can it'll be flexible and you can just open it up more. Then I just took my little element and I just took some cheesecloth and this is white. I haven't had time to dye any. So I'm gonna try something. I have some pink oxide ink here. Let's see if we can add some color to this or not. Okay. That's more pink than white now. Let's open it up because I just want one piece for this side. And that's going to go here. And I use my glue stick all the time when I use cheesecloth. Down there. And then scrunch that up a little bit here. Okay. And then let's... Um, Open that up a little bit. Okay. And we have one of our little pink sentiment cards. 
This might have been for the paper princess. I'm really going to have to look it up. I'm sorry. And then I have this here. Um, three-quarter inch cute little looks like um, little tassels. I'm just going to measure that out. Oops. These scissors, I don't know what happened to them. They're fairly new, but they're not cooperating today. Okay. Gotta get something else. Where's my so I'm just tearing it apart now. That I'm just going to put on here. And I just used my um, fabric glue. Just eyeball it. So there you go. And you can throw some goodies in it to pump it up a little bit. Or some, uh, I'm just going to try to shred some paper, maybe some, for Christmas, do some red and green paper in my shredder. And then use that. Those are kind of cute. We'll do one more. Let's do one more. So we have our five inch square. And we're just going to take these two ends. And just roll it. So you get a point. I like to turn, put the right over the left. Some double-sided tape. Yeah, so look at the notes below when I post this, and that'll tell you where I got these ladies from. Okay, so there you go. Perfect little cone. And you can do what you want with it. Uh, we'll do it like these with our little doily. I just find the center of the doily here. So it's overlapping a little bit. Okay. 
and then just hold it and put glue on one side. When that adheres, you can do this side. over here and we still have a piece of this cheesecloth and we'll add some ink to it Get that where you want it. Get your little element. This is a clock with a bird on it. Very cute. Put some wet glue on it. And we'll um, get some of this ribbon. Okay, just eyeball it. A little bit of fabric glue there. Get that down there to let it set for a little bit. Yeah, and you can, like I said, you can punch some holes in here and hang hang something. Uh, if you're putting them on the tree, I would um, not make them too top heavy because this is just um, copy paper. Okay, I didn't use any cardstock or anything. So there you have it. Here's our little dolly ones. So we have some Christmas cones or any holiday actually. And like I said, you can put your rhinestones and bling them up. I get these sides down. So, there you have it, my friends. Have a beautiful day. Bye.